All right, yeah. Enjoy Have a blessed day, day. yeah. Blessings, blessings, Thank you. Many blessings. All right, God bless you. How are you doing today? You get one of those? So what's Good information. The what's the protest about? Protest? Or we're this? proclaiming the gospel, and we're we're uh, proclaiming that abortion is murder. What do you uh, What are your thoughts on abortion? Uh, I don't know, but it's just whatever the whatever the, the whatever the person. Well, I honestly. I, I, not yeah. sure. Yeah. But, do you, when do you think it's a baby in the womb? Let, let me put it that. Let me ask you that. Well, it's like two weeks, three months, six months, nine months. Okay. Not sure. Yeah. Well, you know. Do you know that in in Oregon you can murder a baby through abortion all the way up to birth? Are you aware of that? That's pretty, pretty terrible. Yeah. So what, when would you say that it's okay to kill a baby in the womb? Uh, I don't know, but, it, but it's a, but I think it's like just the choice of the woman. If it is, it is a choice, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. the Bible says it's a it's a deadly choice to to uh, to murder. It's a it's a choice, but it's a deadly choice because if you if you die in that sin of murder, you end up in hell for eternity, right? Do you, do you, do you think so? Do you have any kind of a Christian background at all? Uh, I'm Jewish. But uh huh, Jewish. Oh, yeah, that's not great. really religious. Yeah, yeah. So would you consider yourself to be a, a good person? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, how do you think you've done, like, with the law of Moses, or, or the co Christians call it the Ten Commandments? Do you think you've kept those? I those. Not, not sure. Well, let me, I'll, I'll help you, but I'll bet you'll remember them when you hear them, okay? So, like, uh, the Ninth Commandment says you shall not bear false witness or tell a lie. So, how many lies do you think you've told in your life? Like, more than ten? Less than it's ten. Wild, so yeah, it's hard to count. But you think more than ten? Just really rough estimate. Maybe less. Okay, so less than ten. So what would you call somebody that's told lies? Maybe less than ten. Uh, Starts with an L. Liar. Liar. You're very good. My name's John, by the way. Hey, John. Jacob. 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 Oh, wow, well, yeah. Wow, that's cool. So, Yaka, uh, have you ever stolen anything before? That's the Eighth Commandment. Like taking a piece of candy or a toy or, or anything like that, do you think? Well, if it's, a, if it's just served and served, uh, yeah. in a bowl, that is for everybody. That well, that's not stealing. You know, if it's free, you can't just steal it, yeah. But I'm talking about something you were supposed to pay for, but you didn't. You said, oh, look, uh, nobody's looking. Who I'll take that. Do you think you've ever done that? I've never shoplifted. Okay, good, fair enough. So, do you think you've ever used God's name in vain before? Like, oh my, G-O-D, do you think you've ever done that before? Yeah, that's called blasphemy when you use that. That, that term, like using God's name as a cuss word or kind of like just useless trash, you know. You wouldn't use your mother's name that way, would you? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. So, and then Jesus said, you've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with them in their heart. So, do you think you've ever done that before? Look, look with lust. I do not appreciate your graphic imagery. Uh, it's terrible, aren't they? They're terrible images. Terrible. Yeah, abortion's terrible. It's murder. Uh, so, so what do you think? Of, like in your entire life, do you think you've ever looked at a woman inappropriately? Yeah, yeah, I know. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I, I looked at a looked at a woman inappropriate like like with sexual intention like I want to not like she's pretty just like oh I like her hair or she's got a pretty dress but but actually going beyond that to, to sexual uh, desires do you think you've ever done I've never are you uh, homosexual 
No? Okay, okay. Um, do you think you've ever hated anybody? Well, if the person hates a, a type of group, then sure. Yeah, yeah. So, by your own admission, Yaakov, did I say that right, Yaakov? Uh, you're a liar, um, a blasphemer, and um, a murderer at heart. The Bible says if you hate somebody, you are a murderer. So if God were to judge you just based on those commandments alone, how do you think you'd do on the, on the day of judgment? Would you be innocent or would you be guilty, do you think? Okay. Well, the Bible says that that um, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. It says it says that uh, with regard to using His name uh, in vain, He says He will not hold those guiltless who take His name in vain. In other words, to say it is he, they will be guilty, and then it says all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. Uh, so He says He will by no means clear the guilty. So that's a serious, serious thing. So by that, if you'd be guilty, what the Bible says, would you go to heaven or to hell? What do you What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right. You're spot on there. Yeah, good. yeah, and that's and that's the sad reality of it. Uh, but but the question is, that's really important too. Is uh, does that concern you? The idea of going to a place called hell? Are you familiar with it at all? Hey. Yeah, yeah, there's some descriptions. The Bible describes it as a lake of fire that burns with sulfur. Uh, where Jesus said the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. Where he said he'll cast that wicked servant into outer darkness. And just, just a horrible place. And I, I don't want you to go there. So do you know what God did so you wouldn't have to go to hell? Do you have any idea? What's that? Well, I'll tell you, you'll probably, it'll probably make sense. So uh, with a Jewish background, this would be the Messiah. So God sent the Messiah, Jesus, who has been told of long ago, prophesied of many, many years before, that he would come to save his people from their sins. Wow. So God saw that we had violated his Ten Commandments by lying, by theft, by blasphemy, adultery of the heart, uh, by hatred, uh, committing murder in the heart, th those sort of things, breaking all of those commandments. Like, like that policeman, if he saw me take something, he would arrest me, right? So if I did something wrong, and that's the way that the law does. The law busts you. The law says, oh, you did something wrong, you you're in trouble. Fine. What's that? It gives you hefty, a hefty fine. Yeah, it can be a hefty fine or it could be imprisonment or both. You know, it's terrible. Or it could be the death penalty in the case of murder. Um, and so so God saw that we were headed to this horrible place called hell for all eternity. But God offered to have mercy on us by sending his son. God became man in the incarnation. God became man in Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. And he, he, he hung on a wooden cross. Have you heard the story where he was nailed to the cross? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so what he was doing... What's that? Crucified. Crucified, exactly. Good good job. You remembered that. So he was nailed to that cross and he suffered and died for the sins of the world so that you could be forgiven. And he, he died and he was taken down and buried. Then he rose again on the third day. You may have heard Christians talk about Easter or Resurrection Day. That's key. That's key that he rose from the dead so he could forgive sins. What's that? March. Yeah, yeah, March, April, uh, depends on the year, but, but but the important thing was that he rose from the dead, so defeating death for you, so Zakhov, he can, he can uh, defeat death, he can give you eternal life, you don't have to go to hell, you get to go to heaven, because if you repent of your sins, turn from your sins, and trust alone in Jesus Christ, you can be saved from your sins. That that kind of makes sense? Yeah. yeah, have you have you heard that message before, you think? Maybe. But... Yeah, yeah. So the, kind of a question to leave you to, what to think about. When do you, would you think you would do that? When would you repent of your sins and trust in Jesus? Because you, you said you thought you'd be going to hell, and I wouldn't want you to do that. So when do you think you would do that? Uh, I'll think that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Can I give you one of these? It's a little a little pamphlet, and it just it just talks about what we talked about. A little recap here. Do you have a Bible at home? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, 
Um, Maybe a Torah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can look those. You can get on, uh, on online and look up. Like Blue Letter Bible is a good place to look up. Look up those scriptures and make sure uh, it's it's agreeing with what the Bible says. I believe it is, but you want to confirm that for yourself. But but yeah, great talking to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope you have a, a super day. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. God bless you. All right. Yeah, John, would it be a good idea?